when you walk out here, you don't even see to go right. Well done. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. About Milton? After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. All right. So Lewis died. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room. Except Lewis. Whoa. Whoa. Drug trip city. Oh, hey. Oh. All right. I thought that was going to be the exit. Why is his room in a boat? That does not sound safe. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. Yeah? That part of him lived on. Yeah? Did it? Holy crap. <laughs> Get the munchies? Lewis Finch. Locker contents. What's this? Don Finch. Oh, it's to his mom. What the? Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first. Did I just cut my hand? His daily life. Ah! He kept oh, working I... at the cannery, but he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. I'm gonna lose a hand. His mind began to... Wait, what? Oh! I'm an RPG character! I asked him to describe it. This is cool. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Then this is fun. Bats. Bats. And toads. Oh, that's a, that's a big. Oh, I have to go up there. That's a big dragon thing. And things that have not names. That's creepy. He knew it was all in his head. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. Dude, it's a legit... Top-down. It looks like a freaking dungeon crawler. This is awesome. But he found something more. Kills the monotony. I worried about him then. Look, it's Diablo 2! I want to go up or this way? Cannery. Come on, fish. I spoke with his boss. Come on, fish. But he said fish were taking a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Yeah, the fish are taking forever. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. Doggo. He told me he'd made a new friend. <gasps> A doggo! The best kind of friend. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Lewis Topia? Come on, doggy. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Got it. Then he made musicians. Whoa. Whoa. Shouldn't be doing drugs at work. He 
talked about starting a band. Whoa. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. <laughs> always with the chopped fishes. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him. That all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So Big whale friend. He held an election. And he won. Of course he did. What was <laughs> the level up sound? But his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Oh, here we go. Keep going. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. And he's got a crazy mind being able to do that. Come on, fish. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Yeah. Minneapolis. Minneapolis. He forgot to go home from the cannery. Oh no. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Whoa. You're not supposed to stand there, I don't think. Got to be a safety hazard and in health violation. Rumors of a Handsome queen or a beautiful prince? Handsome queen. Handsome queen. Well, that's cool. Gave you a little choice there. Whoa. Whoa. The queen was on her own quest for. Whoa. Sinister serpents. Radiant rainbows. Fuck yeah. Radiant rainbows. Oh! Oh, I knocked it over. Nailed it. He followed the sound of her. No, I knocked it. Her electric sitar. Her silver harp. Turn! Yes! Silver harp. We keep going right. Oh, nice. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. This part is very unique. Even then, his logic remained sound. Whoa! I don't even have a board anymore. Check this out. This is how you lose a hand, bro. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Whoa! Uh oh, fish are piling up. He was so proud of having created it. Ew. Ew. In Whoa. his own eyes, he yeah, caught something up. greater than a king. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him. The real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. Whoa. 
Give me my handsome queen. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Whoa. No, I have a fish in my hand. Whoa. Oh, I'm in the real world. It's a lot of blood. Oh, that, that looked like a Nintendo Switch at first. Did I not interact with anything like that? All right. We began to forget the world we know. And just hit his body really well. That's messed up. <laughs> hey, two DS. There you go. To remember Lewis. Ew. Oh, I thought he was missing a head. Oh, he's not even grabbing the fish. Hey. Dude. Do I help him give him a fish? Don't tell me he sends himself to the grinder. I still thought I could save him. He gets minced into tuna Even meat. He said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. That's not how it works. Including the wise Calico who insisted on inviting her. Ew, they're gonna have people meet in their tuna. <laughs> That's probably one of the funniest statements I've ever said. But that's messed up. His queen waited, holding his crown. Queen! Look at that badonk donk She thick. She got booty for days. Game is messed up. The rest, I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. I wish you could have met him. All right, do your guys' brain cells degenerate in your family because kid jumped off a cliff because he wanted to fly? Ah, oh, I did not think this game was dark. Heck, man. What's that? Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Uh. Fuck, dude. That was messed up. I mean, at least he was going to therapy, but damn. The therapist wasn't really doing their job. Mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. 
<laughs> I'm guessing Dawn probably has like a natural death. What is this? Was this just another way up? Nope. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. All you had to do is bow his head. Fuck, dude. One thing I will say is the game does a great job <laughs> with its little puzzle, like storytelling elements, and you can pretty much guess what the heck's going to happen, but they make it fun and then they make it like, oh yeah, here's some confetti, you know? It's just like, it just makes it 10 times more dark, I think. But, I but also calling the cush cushions to blow. Dude. It's just Edith and... It's just me and mom. Maybe mom's still alive because she said, I'm the only one left, maybe two. Or she was referring to Milton. Happy 90th birthday. That's gotta be Edie. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Oh no. Maybe it should have come sooner. Oh no. Bird. Birds everywhere. Look at all the birds. Whoa, all the birds. No. I don't want to know anymore. Oh. I was slightly hitting my um, joystick. I was like, why is it slowly zooming? Did she leave me a note? A quill. That whole last day... Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the home. Oh no. Why don't you go open it? The grown ups have to argue now. I'm the sorry, grown ups have to right. argue. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last. I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. She had the kids plate. That was hilarious. Okay, am I Edith now? Am I gonna go look for a present? While grandma and mom fight? Morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or this one? He had a key to it. The thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. That's creepy. There's a bed in here. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think yeah. it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay. Is, is that... Doesn't it actually say Valhalla? And what is it, Nordic? History of the Finches by Edie Finch. Dear Edith, there's That's really so pretty. many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. Maybe this is a gel fins. Uh oh. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. Yeah. No, 
I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought. 